Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. My name is Imran Majid, and I'm going to be hosting today's match. And this is a semi-final match from the Euro Tour earlier this year in August in Slovenia. And we have two great players participating. Konrad Jusizan from Poland against Rui Sanchez from Spain. It's a race to nine with alternate break and the nine ball is on the spot. As you can see, a very nice, beautiful venue. And the referee is just racking the balls and then they're going to lag for the break. Rui Sanchez, 29 year old from Murcia in Spain, takes on Konrad Jusizan, 27 year old from Poland. So, Konrad wins the lag and breaks off in rack number one. I must remind you, we have the three-point rule in effect. So, a ball was made on the break. It was the eight ball. Corner ball. It doesn't look like he's got an open shot on the one. So, interesting. Push out, pushes out into a jump shot. For Sanchez. Me personally, I don't like jumping this, so I probably would give it back as well because you have to draw the cue ball back to get position on the two, which was quite difficult. He made the one ball, which was a good shot. Doesn't have good position on the two although the shot is makeable and his cue ball would be careering into the three ball but he's an attacking player he likes to go for his shots I've played him a few times nice shot and a nice favorable kiss on the three ball in the side now he does have a problem with the four and six where he may elect to take on a combination shot Wants to miss that nine. Uh oh, looks like he's at least partially snookered. Yeah, that was a little bit careless. Probably going to attempt to kick at this ball. Two or three rails and hit the wrong ball. Yeah, I must say, Conrad's a bit of a rhythm player. Likes to get on with it. Doesn't want to get bogged down too much with... Uh, safety battles so uh, a nice opportunity for Sanchez to get the first rack on the board lovely setups in these Euro tours and um, the, the, the tournaments are organized very well so I would recommend for any up-and-coming nine ball players to have a go at the Euro Tours and uh, the next event is in Antalya, Turkey October the 28th to the 30th so get your names down if you want to compete with the best Sanchez making light work of this first rack and Sanchez pots the nine, takes a 1-0 lead. Rack number two, Sanchez to break. He's leading 1-0. Sanchez is well known for his break. 
he does have a very good break and that's why he usually gets high finishes on the Euro Tours has become a very consistent player especially on the Euro Tour does however need to get this monkey off his back he's never won a Euro Tour so this is a, a prime chance for him to get his first Euro Tour title on his CV looks like there does seem to be a 2-9 combination on offer it's a little bit tight going past the 8 ball but um, if he could get a good cue ball at the same time it would be a two way shot I believe he's dressing up for that, it wasn't far away and see he got the cue ball behind the 6 for a safety as well so, well executed, it wasn't far away from making the 9. Now, Jusizen is faced with a kick shot. He's got to try and avoid that bottom left hand corner pocket because it looms large. Okay, he made a successful contact. But has given up a shot, I believe. does have an easy safety rolling up behind the seven but it uh, looks like he's dressing up for the the two ball in the side he will have natural position two rails okay missed it undercut that ball it was an acute angle so uh, we can let him off for that one both players are sponsored by Predator and use the carbon fiber shafts that's a nice positional shot looks like he's got a shot on this three yep and I must say um, the streaming guys Kazoom are a professional outfit and do a really good job with the streaming that was a nice shot Bump the four, promoted it towards the pocket. Can stun one rail, bottom right on the cue ball. Play the six in the corner, same pocket. But he's under hit that. That was uh, has got to be marked down as a unforced error. He does make some careless errors now and then, Conrad. Um, that's due to the speed of his play. But uh, when he's uh, on form and not making any errors, he's um, a tough cookie to beat. Now, wow, look at that shot. One rail kick straight in the corner. Amazing shot. Not sure if he planned it that way, but um, I'm sure he'll take it. And needs to draw his cue ball back now, get closer to the eight ball. That'll do. Bit of a cut, but um, should be able to negotiate this. Probably wants to let his stroke go and not baby this in. Top left on the cue ball. Maybe use three or four rails. Okay, he tried to hold it, and uh, that's good enough. I would have probably used the rails, three or four rails, to let my stroke go a little bit more so I could play it a bit more confidently Conrad sinks the 9 in rack number 2 it's one all rack number 3 Conrad to break and makes the corner ball and very nearly scratched he has got a nice shot on this one
two ball goes in the side, so I probably could play the three ball in the same side. That looks pretty good. Can just roll forward now, just a high ball, 12 o'clock on the cue ball. Seems to be struggling with the pace of the table at the moment, Conrad. That was uh, slightly under hit. Extension. Extension ball. He's seeing if he can jump the ball. See, Conrad is a fast player anyway, and now he's under the shot clock. That was a foul. Yeah, that was another unforced error. Should have made that one real kick. Like I said, he does make mistakes. Probably needs to iron those mistakes out if he wants to become a top, top player. He already is a top player, but, you know, I mean elite And you can see Sanchez a little bit more calculated than his opponent. Likes to get on with it as well. But uh, he will walk around the table and double check his angles like he's doing now. Bottom left on the cue ball. Played it two rails to get closer to his work. Now has the option of playing one or two rails to come back down for the nine. Probably two rails would be the favorite. Top right, that was probably one o'clock on the cue ball. Nice position, he was coming into the line of the shot this way. Nicely done, takes down rep number three goes up 2-1. Rack number four, Sanchez to break. And there you see a prime example of Sanchez's good break. It looks like the two's gonna, okay, it's gonna dress up for a combination on the seven. Very makeable. I think he'll be happy with that. The two ball will go towards the opposite corner pocket once making the combination and should have a shot. Sanchez, one of the best players in Spain. I would say he's just behind David Alcady, who's the best player in Spain. And then would be Rui Sanchez. Yes, nicely done. Maybe is a little bit straight on this ball. Might need to manufacture an angle. It looks dead straight to me. Maybe can draw it back with some right hand bottoms. Okay, he can't jack up enough, so. Okay, he got a little bit out of it, and that'll do nicely. Played that with some top left hand spin create an angle and now he wants to be pretty straight on this four so he could uh, maybe draw it back for the six so okay might need to stun around two rails now to play the six in the opposite corner pocket or uh, he does have options here. Okay, he played it one rail with inside spin. Slightly under hit, but uh, shouldn't be a problem. He's already looking at uh, position for the eight ball. So uh, I fancy him to get the six. Okay, under hit that a bit. If 
but uh, Sanchez is a good shot maker. I reckon he'll get this eight ball. Yeah. And nice position on the nine. Sanchez goes up 3 1. Rack number five, Conrad to break. We're hardly 15 minutes into the match and they've already completed four racks. It's a sex for break and a shot on the one. Position for the two is another story, mind you. Not easy to get position on the two, but can follow this. Does look like he had an angle. Okay, he didn't get his line right for the cue ball. So, uh, yeah, his Q-tip placement on the cue ball there was slightly off. Plays a pretty good safety using the six for cover. Nicely done. Sanchez faced with a two rail kick. Wants to hit the two ball from behind and get some separation here. Like I said before, Sanchez has never won a Euro Tour, so this is a great chance for him to at least get to the final. And didn't and didn't quite make the correct contact on the two ball there. Wanted to hit it a lot fuller. Um, it's not disastrous. He's faced with a bank now. Conrad is pretty easy bank, I would say. Doesn't have to do anything with the cue ball. Oh, that was a bad miss. Expected him to get that. Does get down and fire straight away, but I've seen him when he's uh, on form, when he's in stroke. He doesn't make many mistakes and doesn't miss a ball either. So a thin cut shot on the two. With some outside spin. Okay, he played a safety. And has left a piece of this two ball, so Conrad can play a safety shot and get his cue ball. Okay, he went for the bank. That's why he kind of played position on the three as well. Don't blame him for that, really. It was a pretty easy bank shot. So he'll probably play the two into the five here and send the cue ball back down table. that'll do. Ideally he wanted cover. Now Conrad does have a straight back bank into this left hand pocket where he's standing and I reckon he's going to shoot it. He does like to attack. I'll double kiss that. And um, I'm not sure if he's left up a shot. Sanchez shook, shook his head there, so uh, it looks like he's snookered. So probably going to kick it lightly to the short rail, then the long rail. And use the five for cover. Well executed. Not sure if he's got the snooker from this angle. Conrad is actually a 2018 European champion in nine ball. So he's a very good player. You can't win a European championship without being a great player. A 
and missed the kick, kick shot by uh, a few millimetres. Expected him to get it. If I was Conrad, I'd probably be disappointed in how I've played so far. He has made a few unforced errors, but this is a chance for him to get within one rack. Played that with some inside spin to get closer to the five. Now play the six in the same pocket. A bit of left hand spin there. Yeah, deciding whether to use the rail here or draw straight back down table. Looks like he's going to use the rail. Looks like he's pretty straight on the seven. Can just draw it back a little bit. Play the nine in the side, but elects to draw back, and that'll do. Three, two. Rack number six, Sanchez to break, currently up 3 2. Nice break, makes the one ball in the side and the corner ball, and has got a shot on this two ball. Although it's a little bit thin, if he makes the ball, we'll have natural shape for the four. Might use a touch of right hand spin here to help the ball in. Yeah, there you saw the right hand spin taking effect, so he probably hit that 3 o'clock on the cue ball. And a uh, nice bump on the 8. I believe he's got a shot on this 4. I could probably just roll forward a little bit, off the rail, play the 5 in the side. Yep, just like that. And now it's like connect the dots, it's stun, 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 stun. Or stop, 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 stop. I've been uh, playing the Euro Tour for many years now, and uh, I've got to say it's definitely helped me to develop my game throughout my career so uh, I would advise any young budding nine ball players to have a go at the Euro Tours you've got to mix it up with the best if you want to be the best and like I said they're all in a very uh, nice venues great equipment as well laptop scoring, referees Lovely hotels to stay in, usually at the venue. Okay, rack number seven, and it's Conrad Jusizen to break. And that's a good break. And luckily didn't get a shot on the one. Was nearly going to dress up for a shot. It's probably going to be forced into playing a safety shot now. And he hits the nine ball. So I've got to say, Conrad's not having a very good day at the office. I've seen him play much better. 
don't forget these guys have probably been playing all day since the morning so um, a bit of tiredness and fatigue can set in which is understandable bottom left on the cue ball here to get closer to his work probably seven or eight o'clock on the cue ball here it's got a little bit of angle can just draw this back somewhere around the middle of the table would be fine Okay, use the long rail. And probably straight top or maybe a little bit of inside spin. Yeah, that was straight top. And now I'll probably play a two rail positional shot for the eight in the corner. So he'll play 9 o'clock on the cue ball here. And a nice easy stop shot on the 8. To leave a elementary 9 for a, quite a commanding lead, 5-2 in a race to 9. Rack number eight, Rui Sanchez to break. Another nice break, making the one in the side. And has got a nice shot on the two. Probably has to kill the cue ball here and play the three long past the side pocket. And roll up for the four. Sanchez is actually uh, a junior world nine ball champion. So, uh, doesn't lack any experience. Now, he'll probably play a safety here because it doesn't afford position on the four if he went for the pot. So, yeah, that's a nice safety. Makes things awkward for his opponent. He knows his opponent is not playing to his optimum level. So, uh, why not keep him handcuffed? looks good oh it looked like it was gonna hit the three it was good effort unfortunately got the four first give Sanchez ball in hand This looks like a pretty easy table to get another rack on the board. Just got to draw this six ball back, six o'clock on the cue ball. Probably wants to replace the cue ball. Yeah, just like that. That's where his cue ball was. And uh, maybe draw back two or three inches for the eight on the side. Okay, use the long rail. And 
Sanchez will be feeling good about himself. He's going to go up 6-2. Rat number nine. Conrad needs to pull his socks up. Needs to get his skates on. Is a good break. Made the one in the side. Is he going to get a shot? Not sure. Maybe he does have a shot on this too. It's hard to tell from my monitor. Yep, he's getting down pretty fast. Nicely done. Had to play that with some inside spin as well. Probably used uh, 10 or 11 o'clock on the cue ball to set up this rack. They always say the first shot of the rack is the most important because uh, it sets everything up for the rest of the rack. Slightly under hit this. Should make it. Played it into the rail slightly, into the long rail. Makes the pocket much larger. Yeah, and it's about time Sanchez um, Conrad got a rack on the board. Made a few errors. But uh, needs to start playing a lot better if he wants to get back into this match. Nevertheless, reduces the deficit to 10 Sanchez to break we've just got a temporary view of the arena and now we're back to normal uses a lot of bottom left hand spin and always puts a, a nice stroke on his break that's a lovely break And uh, like I said before, that has been a characteristic of his um, results in the Euro Tour over the last few years. Has uh, got a very good break. And not only that, he's a great player as well. Great shot maker, good safety player. Straight bottom on this ball. Just leave yourself a little bit of angle so you can play two rail position here coming into the line of the shot for the six. So it's going to use some outside, some left hand spin here, probably nine o'clock on the cue ball to get closer to his work. That's pretty much perfect. Probably could draw back two or three inches maintain an angle on the 7 to get to the 8. There you see it, a slight angle. Maybe you could stun into the long rail with some outside spin. 9 o'clock on the cue ball here. Oh, sorry, 3 o'clock on the cue ball here to get closer. 
to the 8. And probably can just float one rail down the table for the 9. Straight top or a little bit of outside spin. Okay. Use two rails. I thought he was a little bit straighter than I thought. Pretty clinical run out. Sanchez goes up 7-3. Rack number 11. Conrad to break. And is that a dry break? Yes, it is. He only got one ball down and one ball went past the head string. So, Sanchez at the table now with a nice look on the two ball needs to negotiate position on the three. Let's see how he goes about this. Does he draw it? Okay, that will do, yep. Yeah. He used a draw shot there, it's probably five o'clock on the cue ball. Probably play the four in the opposite corner here, just one rail position. And probably needs a two or three rail angle on the five to get back round for the six. So maybe float forward, get your cue ball on the rail here. Okay, didn't do that. He was playing for the window. This way works too, but um, the eight comes into play. So he has to negotiate the eight ball. Probably stun it around two rails. Or he may elect to play with some inside spin and just play one rail. Yeah, he's going two rails behind the eight. Two. Nicely done. This is a semi-final match, so they're playing for a, a spot in the final. And this nine ball should put Sanchez on the hill. And there you have it, 8-3 to Rui Sanchez. Rack number 12, Sanchez is on the hill, breaking. And uh, he gave that one some power. And didn't make a ball, that's a dry one. Quite a rare occurrence for Sanchez. He usually gets at least one or two balls down on his break. Did he get there? I'm not sure if he got there. Yeah, he's bad, had a bad set. I think he's going for his jump cue. Yeah. I struggled with speed control. Oh, what a nice jump shot though. Good recovery. Does he get a shot on the three? If he does, it's very thin. But he is an attacking player. I think he's going to go for this. Didn't hit that too well. Made it too thick. Looks to me that Conrad is kind of resigned to the fact that he's going to lose this match. 
and uh, when your opponent is up 8-3 in an alternate break format I must say it is an uphill struggle So Sanchez faced with a one rail kick he wants to hit it quite full. Okay, he didn't even go for a kick shot. Went to tie up the 4-5. Nothing wrong with that because it's hard to break out. But he does have the possibility to break them out if need be. But I don't think Sanchez tied up the 4. So yeah, he's got an open shot here. On the four is going to have to draw this ball back and uh, the white ball will be careening to the five he is going to make contact with the five I believe okay he didn't even go for the pot went for a cross bank and just missed it it was a good attempt just missed it Sanchez jumps out of his chair in delight. He probably can't believe that uh, the way this match has gone. Probably expected much more of a tougher match against Conrad. Straight draw there. Okay. I didn't like that. I, I liked using the rail to get over there with some right hand spin. It was easier to control my way, I think. Containing safety shot. He knows his opponent is uh, a little bit on tilt, so uh, just wants to keep him there. Doesn't want to do anything rash or uh, careless. Okay, went for the shot, nothing wrong with that, especially when you're 8-3 down, but has a left a shot for Sanchez, and this could be the match telling shot, or the crunch shot should I say. It's not easy, but Sanchez is a good shot maker, I fancy him to get this, yeah, nicely done. And a great positional shot too. Probably wants to draw his cue ball back slightly. To be straight on the 8 so he can stun it for the 8 in the side. Sorry, straight on the 7. So he can stun it and play the 8 in the side. That looks perfect. Oh, I must say Sanchez has played very well in this match and uh, Conrad below par and this is it folks congratulations to Rui Sanchez advances to the final and unlucky to Conrad not the best day in the office but uh, he'll be back for sure my name is Imran Majid I'm signing out now stay tuned for no more nine ball action from across the globe Ciao for now.